the Drake Passage is that it's dangerous. So dangerous in fact that there's not much we really know about its waters due to its harsh conditions, making it near impossible to study anything below the surface. But if you want to get deep, I'm a Gemini, I enjoy long walks on the beach, and here are the top 10 dark discoveries of the Drake Passage that terrified scientists. First up we have the leopard seal, and before you tell me they aren't scary, you're wrong. Not only do these things have razor sharp teeth and an appetite for insides, their back teeth are literally serrated to help them tear apart their prey better. And if that doesn't shout carnivore with a non-discerning palate, I really don't know what does. So let's get to know these guys a little better. Leopard seals are the third largest seal in the world, and they like to be alone. They swim underwater, and they are the only seals known to reportedly hunt and devour warm-blooded prey. By the way, we're warm-blooded. I will save you the search, yes they have attacked humans, and of the recorded attacks, one has resulted in a fatality. Oh, and sometimes they attack their babies, so don't think they'd have any qualms about coming for you. They're cute, but I will not be taking my chances. Nor would I want to take my chances with this next one, because next up we have the Colossal Squid. Not to be mistaken for the giant squid, they are actually vastly different animals belonging to two separate squid families. I mean, they're both squid, so really how different can they be, but Anyways, some differences between the two include the fact that while the giant squid is slightly longer, its colossal counterpart has a much larger and heavier body, weighing an average of 490 kilograms, which is 1,080 pounds, in comparison to the giant squid, which comes in at an average of just 275 kilograms, which is about 606 pounds. Furthermore, the colossal squid has one of the largest eyes of any known creature to ever exist, and unlike any other squid out there, this thing has hooks in its tentacles and a bite force of a hundred pounds per square inch. In short, I wouldn't look at this thing the wrong way if you paid me. And next on the list we have the Southern Sleeper Shark. Keep in mind that the Drake Passage is nearly impossible to explore, so it should come as no surprise that even when we are able to make discoveries within its waters or along its shores, they tend to be quite surface level. That being said, there is not much we really know about this shark, but what we do know is that this shark is a member of the dogfish shark species. Generally, the males measure in at around 13 feet, while the females come in at around 14.2 feet, the largest of the species ever discovered came in at 15. Their lifespan is unknown and their existence is strange due to the fact that, as a basic rule of thumb, the majority of shark species prefer to live in warmer waters, as it speeds up their physiological processing as well as their metabolic rate. Only a handful of sharks are equipped to survive in temperatures as cold as those occurring in the Drake Passage, and they do so through something called countercurrent heat exchange, using the heat generated in their muscles to warm their bodies while metabolizing food much slower than their more equator adjacent counterparts. As we near our halfway point, I feel like I owe those of you who don't know a quick lesson. The Drake Passage, which is situated between the Antarctic Peninsula and Cape Horn, the southernmost part of Chile, has some incredibly treacherous waters, with some who have voyaged along its waters having reported waves of up to 65 feet, 19.8 meters in height. Guys, that is like four to six times the size of an average one-story house. The seas are not messing around. With waves so big, it's really no wonder that the Drake Passage has been home to so many cases of triumph, tragedy, injury, and mystery too. Which brings us to our halfway point. We have the wreck of over 800 ships, in which over 20,000 sailors would have met their end in the icy cold waters of the passage. The wrecks, which occurred likely due to the aforementioned high seas along with poor weather conditions, have led to the passage landing its name in the Rocky Waters Hall of Fame making it a place that generates much curiosity. Among the many shipwrecks that have taken place along the Drake, we have the wreck of the Antarctic, a steam engine whaling vessel that hit the waters of the Drake Passage in 1901 and met its end just a few years later after becoming surrounded by large icebergs, which crushed and eventually sunk the ship, making it the first recorded instance of a shipwreck as a result of being trapped by glaciers. This story is not all bad though, as the captain and the entirety of the crew did survive. After the loss of their ship, sailors made their way across the ice to Paulet Island, where they spent an entire winter sheltered in stone huts and living off the land before they were eventually rescued. And next on the list, we have the Southern Elephant Seal. And these things are huge, with the males of the species averaging in at 4 to 5 meters in length, around 13 to 16 and a half feet, and weighing 3,500 kilograms, which is 7,716 pounds. These things are built like a brick, with razor sharp 
sharp teeth and an aggressive streak. The males are incredibly territorial and therefore it is not uncommon for fights to break out amongst the communities of these animals, resulting in extreme injury for at least one, if not both, adult male elephant seals. Some cool, less violent things we know about the southern elephant seal is that they spend up to 80% of their lives in the ocean and are able to swim an average of 60 miles per day, adding up to around 15 to 20,000 miles per year. And they can do this at a speed of up to 10 miles per hour. And they can dive anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000 feet, 300 to 900 meters. It is important to note that while the animals have a regular diet of squid, fish, rays, and even sharks, there have been multiple reports of southern elephant seals attacking humans, so a safe distance is highly recommended. Another aggressive animal with incredibly sharp appendages? Enter the southern giant petrel, a massive carnivorous bird with an average wingspan of 200 centimeters, six and a half feet, and a razor sharp beak that the animal uses to tear apart its prey. This bird is not picky as it's known to both hunt and scavenge, generally for krill, squid, or fish, but it's really not opposed to any left behind dead or decaying animals either. Oh yeah, and I think I mentioned these things are super aggressive, often taking out other petrels, large seabirds, and penguins either by beating or drowning them. But it's not just these other animals that fear this massive bird. Sailors too, as these birds have been known to attack those who have fallen overboard, targeting the face and eyes with its claws and hooked ivory beak. And next up, not only is the Drake Passage known for high waves, it is also known for incredibly high force hurricane strength winds along with whipping rains and hailstorms. The winds in the Drake Passage can reach up to 50 knots, 58 miles per hour, and generally come in from the west. When it rains, the cold water feels like needles against the skin, and when it hails, even worse. It is highly advised that any passengers on trips through the passage stay inside during voyages across the extreme stretch of water, and even crewmen are pressured to remain in as much cover as possible throughout their journeys. I don't know you guys, I love the ocean and I've always wanted to visit the Arctic, but I don't think I'd risk this one. Up next we have icebergs. Well, an iceberg, and not just any any iceberg, but the world's largest iceberg, also known as A-76A. The giant once sat at 84 miles, 135 kilometers long, and 16 miles, 26 kilometers wide. This thing is still massive, but unfortunately that might not last long. You see, for a while, A-76A had been slowly drifting around Antarctica, enduring relatively no decrease in its size. But satellite imagery has revealed that the giant ice slab has taken a change of course, landing itself right into the mouth of the Drake. Passage. The Drake Passage, which is known to push icebergs right on through its treacherous cold waters, sending them northwards into much warmer ones. You can probably guess why this is not an ideal scenario. With already rising water temperatures, the movement of this iceberg through the passage is quite an unsettling discovery as it highlights the swift rate in which sea levels can be altered and geology can be changed. And in our number one spot, we've covered wrecked ships, but we haven't covered haunted ones. Specifically, the haunted schooner Jenny, commonly referred to as just Jenny. The ship was discovered frozen inside of an ice barrier by the crew of the Hope ship in 1840, 20 years after the Jenny had originally gone missing. The men of the Hope recounted their initial sighting of the missing vessel, saying that as they approached the ship, they noticed a group of seven men standing at attention on the main deck. But as they got closer, they realized that the men were in fact frozen solid. Upon boarding the ship, they discovered the captain, also frozen solid, with a pen in his hand, and a journal open to his final entry on the table, which read, May 4th, 1823, no food for 71 days. I am the only person left alive. When the members of the Hope crew departed the Jenny, they took one last look at the disheveled vessel, possibly the last look ever taken, as since their departure, the ship has yet to be located again. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. You know I love all things oceans, so even though this was a hard one, I had so much fun researching it for you. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next. I've been your host, Hannah Thompson, and I'll see you in the next one.